Hi, my name is Eric Wu, and my research topic is developing a low-cost modular pneumatic system for controlling soft robotics actuators. This research is supervised by Professor Chris Rogers at Tufts University. In the field of soft robotics, many actuators use the pressure of air or other fluids to achieve bending, twisting, or locomotion. A widely used control system for pneumatic actuators is by using pulse width modulation to switch the on and off states of solenoid valves, which regulate the airflow coming out of an air pump to inflate soft actuators. This type of control board proves to be versatile and robust, but is not widely used because of the cost and the difficulty to acquire industrial grade products needed to build the system. In my research, I focus on building a low cost and modular system that achieves similar purposes with an electromechanical system that pushes a plastic syringe. My proposed design idea contains a motor at the back which drives a lead screw and pushes the piston of a plastic syringe back and forth. The output of the syringe goes to the pneumatic actuator, a control valve to the atmosphere, and a pressure sensor which monitors the pressure for data collection and for creating feedback control systems in the future. As I started building and prototyping the mechanism, my design evolved over time. I replaced the end stop with a linear potentiometer the stepper motor with a stronger DC gear motor, and it got rid of the atmospheric valve at the output. In the final version, I also designed a custom PCB board to fit all the electronics inside the 3D printed base. Here's the final version of the syringe control system. The modular units are designed to be daisy chained and communicate with the master microcontroller using I2C protocol. The master controller automatically scans for addresses of the units connected and can then acquire data from or send commands to the designated unit. Some available functions include get data from the unit, get the hex address from the unit, move unit to position, and move unit to pressure. The command is sent to the Arduino through serial, so the system could also be controlled by a Raspberry Pi or any other devices capable of serial communication. Each unit also has a manual mode with two buttons. The green LED indicates proper operation, and the red LED shows warning when pressure is too high and when the syringe reaches the end of the travel range. The manual mode has no interference with the master controlling mode and is very handy for quick demos and test actuators on the fly. The current results of the study indicates a promising direction of controlling pneumatic actuators using plastic syringe and learning actuators at low cost. Possible next steps include improving the closed loop feedback controllers on each unit, improve wire management, and build more demos that demonstrate the performance of the syringe control system.